You see, this is how I'm going to put it. We, the ordinary people on the street, we don't have the connections in the government to get contracts or even get the employment skills. Some of us have gone to school very well. I have been to up to the tertiary level. But I have decided to be employed by myself. So when Nana Akufoado came up with the idea that there's going to be a year of return, we didn't think that it was going to be this good. It has been very good. Um, today I decided to be in my African wear. Um, I'm in my Fugu, which is normally uh, manufactured in the northern region of Ghana. Today I'm covering a story on how the year of return has affected the ordinary Ghanaian or the average Ghanaian. How were they able to benefit from this year of return? So I'm at Osu Oxford Street just to interview some few people, just to interview them and see their experience and how this year of return has affected their sales and their business. Hello guys, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Nia Yeke Ganyubin and I just welcome you to my channel once again. I would like to thank each and every subscriber of mine. It's been awesome this time. The views are coming, the comments are coming, the likes. And I just want to thank everybody who have been a success to this channel. And also, if this is your first time that you are coming here, I just thank you for clicking on this channel. 2019 was declared as the year of return. And a lot of people were coming to Ghana for the year of return, people from the diaspora, the African-American. Today, I'm covering a story on how the year of return has affected the ordinary Ghanaian or the average Ghanaian. How were they able to benefit from this year of return? So I'm at Osu Oxford Street just to interview some few people, just to interview them and see their experience and how this year of return has affected their sales and their business. So without wasting much time, guys, let's go hit the streets and talk to some few people. And if this is your first time coming on my channel, I really appreciate you and I would like you to subscribe, like, share and comment. Okay guys, so I have here with me one gentleman and then let's get him talking. So, um, please, my name is Niai. I am Modu Boy, but popularly known as MB. Wow, okay. So, what are you into? What do you really sell here? Uh, I mostly sell beaded jewelry and then African fabrics. Yes, basically that's what I sell. Okay, Beads, so. Mostly. Alright, so, how is business so far? Uh, it's been good. It's been good. Guys, um, we have another beautiful young lady here. <laughs> uh, please, my name is Niai. What's your name? I'm Beta. I'm Beta. Okay, so can you just tell us what you sell here? I'm selling African way. African way? Yeah. Okay, so men, women, Unisex. Unisex and children as well. Yeah. Okay, okay my name is Jonathan. But people call me Bandana. Bandana. You work here as a? As a taxi driver. On the Oxford Street, yes, sir. Yes, Bofa Dixie. Uh, my company name is Bofa Leatherworks. Okay. So, what what are you into? I'm into leatherworks, Ghana made slippers, sandals, belts, any tint leather. Bofa Leatherworks can do it. For you. How has the year of return been able to affect your business? I think the year of return is one of the best initiatives that has been brought up by the current president and I think we must all applaud him for the wonderful gesture he has. I mean the idea is brilliant. For we the ones who have been selling the art, um, the beads, the fabrics, the kentes, mostly the African handicraft, I can say sales have been very good compared to previous years. I can, I can say my sales have been three, four fold compared to last year. So it's been really good to be honest. So which are the kind of people who really come here to purchase your goods? Uh, mostly because Oxford Street is a cosmopolitan I mean, street, you can say mostly it's the foreigners who mostly come and patronize our goods. But they are well-meaning, well-to-do Ghanaians who also really love our art. And I think especially for the waste beads, I mean the Ghanaians buy it more than the foreigners, but there are other the bracelets, the necklaces and other things that I think 
the foreigners seems to be more in love with it than the Ghanaians, but equally the Ghanaians buy it very well. So how, as an ordinary Ghanaian on the streets, how has the year of return affected your business? Mm, well, it has really helped us. Um, they bought, when they came, they really bought a lot of stuff, the African wear, the, I mean the bees, the African bars, they really patronize our staff, so we are very happy. Most of them are the uh, black Americans, okay. yeah. So were you able to make good sales as compared to previous years? Yeah, yeah. Like two, twice of it or thrice of it? Thrice, three times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Um, how has the year of return affected you in your business as a taxi driver on the Oxford Street? Okay, it's good. Uh, this year of return, if I will say something, I mean, it's good for me and I benefit. I mean, I work a lot. Uh, I see, I will say that since this work I work, I haven't worked some before. Okay. And the benefit I benefit, I haven't benefited some before. But this year, I'm, uh, more foreigners come, so it let us get a job. Anyone who say no get a job, then the person is a lazy. So by me, I benefit. Yeah, I benefit of it. You are aware of the year of return? Yes, I'm aware. Okay, so you've been an ordinary Ghanaian yeah. on the streets doing your business. How did the year of return affected your business? The year of return affected my business well, well, well for me because I sell, I sell. Compare your sales to previous sales. How much have you been able to make? So maybe if you compare previous one and this one, almost seventy percent. Yeah, yeah, I sell. It is both are that way. The foreigners come to see these sandals and slippers. We happy to. Say, buy it. Yeah, okay. right now I sell uh, five or ten pairs today. Oh, I yes. see. Yes. Okay, so then it's it's been a good market for you. It's a big good market. Who pe the person who organized this thing is very very good initiative. It it was initiated by the government. Mm, yes, okay, initiative by the government. So I I, I proved to the government that I should continue this for us because when you, the foreigners come, you sell, you buy the things well, the the price is good, so you get contact with them. So uh, I I prove it to government that I should bring more ideas to this the, this thing. Yeah, years of ten. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. The, you mean. The equally Ghanaians also come yes, here to But buy. the foreigners, I, I don't know, let me say, it seems like they come with the mindset that I'm going to, on a holiday, I have to get this amount of money. So there's a bit of the purchasing power. So that makes you feel like, okay, the foreigners are buying more because they have more of the purchasing power. But when you look at the number of people going and coming, you can see equally the Ghanaians are also buying. Yeah. So you can say that the year of return has really helped you guys. The year of return, like I said, is, is one of the fantastic ideas that has been brought up, I mean, by the recent governments we had. I mean, you see, this is how I'm going to put it. We, the ordinary people on the street, we don't have the connections in the government to get contracts or even get the employment skills. Some of us have gone to school very well. I have been to up to the tertiary level, but I have decided to be employed by myself. So when Nana Akufoado came up with the idea that there's going to be a year of return, we didn't think that it was going to be this good. It has been very good. The sales have been good. And we've met some nice people, you know, who have taken our contacts. We've seen that they've gone back, they've contacted us. Oh, I bought this thing from you. My friends really like it. Can you send some to me? So I've taken up from there, then I've posted some things to some people. So on the whole, the year of return, shouldn't just be this year we are feeling like <laughs> we are feeling like there should be more of it i mean <laughs> so were you able to make contact to be able to sell to people or ship outside or something no i couldn't do that oh, okay but i was able to get some of yeah i collect i think i collected some cards from people they have phone numbers and stuff so they and they even told me they will send their friends to my shop Whenever they need something, they will let me know on WhatsApp. I will take some pictures and send them on WhatsApp so they can choose from the pictures. So, yeah. apart from uh, black Americans or African Americans, do Ghanaians also come to patronize? Yeah, a lot. Wow. 
Very. So do you think um, it's a good thing for the year of return? Oh, it's good. It's good. If this, if it is happening like this, then we, we tax drivers will be okay. Because if they are coming more like this, they are picking us. Get, we are gaining like this. We will be okay. Me like that, we are gaining. So for me. So if they are coming like how they come, I mean, I think uh, I will thank God. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. And that's all. Um, were you able to make contact with people who will later come or they, they will, when you are in Ghana again, they will come to you? Yes, uh, that's why I have a complimentary card. So if you buy my slipper, I will give my complimentary card to you. So let me give my number to you. Any, any, if you have a Ghanaian here, you need slipper or sandals, come to Bufa Leatherways. Uh, this is my number, 0249-197287. The Facebook page is Bufa Dixon at dma.com. So if you go there, you see plenty of designs over there. Come to Bufa Leatherways. Bufa Leatherways, the quality is intact. Come and grab your buffalo that way. Black cluster said, grab it. So come and grab it. <laughs> okay, I see. I, 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 you have him in your, your, your um, flex. Do you think it's an, a good initiative by the government? Yeah, I think it's a good initiative because uh, most of the black Americans, because of this initiative, most, most of them don't, they've heard about Ghana. They've never been to Ghana before. And uh, some customers came here and said, your country is nice. I like your food. I like, I, uh, you people are nice and stuff. So I think um, your uh, return, it has really helped us a lot. It also boost your, uh, your business. Am I, <laughs> I see, I see. Good, good. Okay, so uh, if someone wants to connect you to buy your products or something from you, you just direct to the camera if anyone wants to locate you where exactly they can see you. Um, I'm at Oxford Street, Osun. Um, I just sent the total filling station. Opposite um, Abano Hotel. So when they ask, when they come, who should they ask the name? Better African clothing. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for having me on my channel. Okay. All right. Beside also, uh, on another level, when you look at it, we the Africans, the people coming back, mostly I can say are the African Americans, the uh, people from the Caribbean, mostly the people with the Black heritage. Yeah. As somebody who believes in the founding fathers like Martin Luther King, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, you know, and the rest. With that mindset on our background, when you look at it and then we have now these um, black, let me say, brothers, sisters, we have the same heritage coming back to Africa, coming to explore, also helps us as a people to demystify some of the perceptions that have been peddled by the Western media that you know Africa is uh, is full of diseases war and all that yes we do have those things but that's not Africa today's Africa as me and you are standing here when you just look at opposite this street we have a five-story building full of glass I mean you go to some of the streets in America I've not been there but I've been told some of them are crime riddle but that's not what they portray out there so I think when the foreigners come more into Ghana, not only Ghana, but in Africa, I had a friend who was just here, she's from Ohio. She came here yesterday, she purchased some things. She said because of what she heard, she's going to go to Senegal. So I can say that, you see, one good turn brings another. So when Nana Akufo Ado brought the idea that the year of return, I mean, believe me, it's not only affecting Ghana, but it's affecting the whole West African region. And I can say on the broader African region, I've had friends who said they've bought some things and they are telling me, you know what, I'll be going to South Africa next year. No, I'm going to East Africa next year. So people like that, I mean, you can see that when they go back to the United States or United Kingdom, they will not only bring what the media has been telling them. So some of them will return with the good stories. The hospitality, our food, exactly. our culture, I mean yeah. all the wonderful things in Africa. I like so that. I think it's a good idea, we just hope that there is another one of it. For me, I wish there is another one of it, even next year. <laughs> we yeah. pray so, Mr. Yeah. President, whatever is it. So um, how can someone locate you if the person wants to? Are you uh, on social media? Yes, uh, if you go to Facebook, just Facebook, dot, I think, dot com slash Ghana Beats. When you search Ghana Beats, you will find us. We are on, I think, all the social media platforms. Yeah, mostly on Facebook. I have had few customers who have made orders on Facebook and we've delivered. And if you are in Ghana, you want to visit our shop, 
we are just opposite Kuala or recently there's a new building called the number one Oxford Street. When you just come around there, you ask of MB or Ghana Beats, I'm sure you'll be, uh, you'll be directed. We are easy to find. We are just on the highway. Yes. Thank you so much. It's been awesome interviewing Thank you. Thank you very much. God and bless I'm happy you. that you came around to ask us. Thank wow. you very much. So, um, do you agree that this year of return has been a good initiative by the government? Yes, it's a good initiative. So I plead to government that it should continue to do this, can help uh, the Ghanaian marketer. If uh, last two weeks uh, at the Accra Mall, yeah, my, my, my people li like uh, feeling it but because the, the people, the foreigners buy the things over there. So I, con I continue to uh, plead, with the, plead the, with the government to continue this every year. Yes, the hotels, the even restaurants, all the if you sell anything, mm -hmm. I, I ask me, I, I, my example with me, today I sell one of them, my slippers to one, uh, one of them. He's it, it, so happy, he's so happy, yes. So I appeal to government, government, please do something for us. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you so much for having you on my channel. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Right. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I know it has been an interesting one. And if you really like this video, just comment below. And let me know what you think so we can all testify from the testimony from the people i interviewed that the year of return has really been a good initiative and the part that i'm most happy is that it has been able to affect the ordinary Ghanaian on the street i wasn't able to interview everybody but at least the little that we we've seen and we've heard can really tell that it's a good initiative so um in case maybe you are watching and wondering I wasn't able to bring any video from the art center. Um, the news I have for you is that I was there. I couldn't cover because I'm supposed to pay an amount of money, which I wasn't ready and I couldn't afford because it's a big, it's a huge money. Yeah, before I could film there. So guys, thank you so much. And if you can see me, I'm in my Fugu. Yeah, my African wear. Yes, I'm representing Ghana. And today I represent the Northern region. I'm in my Fugu. This normally is made from the northern region uh, and yes if you know um it's my great and love um she's in the northern region representing the north so guys thank you so much and please if this is your first time on my channel please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend this is ghana i promote ghana on my channel and bring you unique stories from Ghana that you don't hear from the media. My name is Niai once again, and thank you all to my uh, my faithful and supportive YouTube, uh, subscribers. I love you guys so much, and Charlie, some some people are getting in touch. People have been calling me, sending me message. Charlie, I have a surprise with you guys, but we'll talk about that on my next episode. I say peace out. Hola, bao. Okay, guys, so. Thank you so much for sticking around and then uh, thank you for being around with the interview and I pray. Oh, uh, so guys, thank you so much for enjoying this. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs>